Hey team, what's going on? Admin from Plex Guide. So anyways, this should be a fairly quick video. Um, so my goal right now is to pretty much start going through this wiki, making videos, start cleaning it up, uh, kind of explain some basics because some of this may be easy to others and some may be difficult to all. And yeah, well, it just depends on your skill set. So before developing Plex Guide, the first thing I had to do was learn how to make a pseudo user. And, and the reason for it is, is there I did not fully understand that. Uh, even having my CSSP and Security Plus and some certifications, I understood security permissions, but I, I just didn't understand how to attribute it to Linux because I'm such a Windows and Mac mindset. So first of all, why would you create a pseudo user? So in most situations, you'll have a, this is my local VM. So you'll have a, uh, a cloud server or something and they provide you just a root password and that's it. So the thing is you got to think of root as pretty much the ultimate um, security, uh, I mean not security, but the ultimate permissions to run your box, basically the, the, the super admin. So basically what you can protect yourself is by creating a pseudo user. So um, at first I didn't like type souping, typing sudo over again and the password over again, but I, I kind of started to understand why it was important. So if you're running a local machine root, you're gonna be generally okay. If you install VMware uh, and install Ubuntu in general, it's gonna usually make you type, uh, it's gonna make you uh, have a regular user. So in this case, I do have a, uh, a pseudo user. So if I wanna type, let's say I wanna to go to the, you know, the, the, the root directory right here, right? If I type make directory cat, it's not gonna work. See how it says permission denied? So what happens is being a pseudo user already, it allows me to do it. So it's kind of like having elevated permissions in Windows and um, elevated permissions in Mac. So sudo make directory, and then you see it's gonna ask for your password. And we're prepared on that. What am I missing? Oh yeah, duh, <laughs> sudo make cat, <laughs> cat. And now if I type it, cat is there. So basically being a pseudo user allows you to have super permissions. And the reason is because I'm outside of my home directory, uh, it needed elevated permissions. So um, first of all, a pseudo user will protect you from making stupid mistakes like this. If, you know, so right now, I, here, here's one thing I can tell you. I just enabled sudo, right? So sudo lasts for a few minutes, uh, I forget, and, and I think you can change how long the permissions last. But if I did this, I end up losing like everything in my box. And and I joke because I ended up doing something stupid like that one time. Um, you know, I was just like, ah, oh, and you know, I wasn't sudo user. So sudo prompts do protect you. Um, but long story short, that's what a sudo user is. So we're gonna go through a quick guide here that I already kind of had generically written up um, in order to become, uh, in order to create a sudo user. So pre-install prep. And I started recognizing the need for it because you can already see somebody's asking uh, questions in regards to it. So it's, it's pretty simple. You'll be surprised how hard this was to find on the web. Uh, I actually had to piecemeal three things together. There wasn't like, here it is. You know, everybody had like these crazy things and you had to go research A and Z. So the good thing with my thing here is you'll be pretty much set. So the thing is you either need to be pseudo or root, but I would recommend you just go to root. So to become root, you just type pseudo sue. Right, and because I'm already logged in as root, it didn't ask for a password. So what are we gonna follow here? Basically, it's just this picture. Right? So we are going ahead and go ahead and type su root. You may just notice, notice a break in the video. I had to make some changes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do md uh, home. Uh, let's see, username. I don't know, we could pick one. Uh, pg, just make it easy, pg. And what you're basically doing here is it's you're, you're making a directory for that user because without it, they don't have a home. So just kind of naturally built that in. So now if we type CD home PG, or we could do LSLA home, we now see PG there, so that's good. So let's go ahead and modify the user. And again, it's kind of like following that picture down there too. So user mod A G sudo uh, PG and because you're basically giving them pseudo permissions then you want to give them a password so we'll go ahead and give it a password and then we're gonna switch to our username and that didn't work like I wanted <laughs> Shh. 
definitely missed something here. Oh, you know what? I did switch to my username. It's it's Sue Root. Am I missing something here? Use your mod AGG Force. Oh, you know what? I need to switch those two around. Sue. Shoot. Hope I didn't screw anything up. Like I said, it's good to. <laughs> okay. Sue home. Or actually, pseudo Sue. Okay. So, what this last command does, it prevents what just happened to me just now. Then let's type su pg. Yep. All right, so basically we are now, um, basically uh, we should have pseudo permissions. So the way we could test this is, um, I'm gonna make a directory, so I'm gonna go cd there, and then I'm gonna do make directory cat, and oh, make directory corn, and you see how it says permission denied, so I should be able to do sudo make directory corn. And we should now see corn. There you go. So it looks like I need to switch these two around. But other than that, um, yeah, hope, hopefully this video is a little bit useful. You can even see that I'm not perfect. Um, <laughs> and it's always on the go learning, right? But if you have to do, if you do have any comments in, in the Pacific Wiki area, feel free to just kind of post below. I'm going to go ahead and start turning those on. If you have any uh, updates or anything else that we can do to improve it or streamline it, uh, feel free to comment. Appreciate your time. Thanks.